What's up guys, it's Bye Bye here and welcome to another Rise of Kingdoms video. Halloween event is here, yay! Uh, with that, we now have one of the best events in Rise of Kingdoms for free to play and low spender players. The Ghoulish Graveyard event. Why is it one of the best events for like, free to play or low spenders players, you ask? Uh, let me just show you guys the possible uh, the possible rewards that you can get from this event You can see right here. Uh, you can defeat a whole bunch of like, riches and you can get a whole bunch of a lot of speed up and a lot of resources as well as Starlight so just show you guys some of the rewards that I get here from just like joining a couple rallies uh, And other people too like it's, it's a great great event for your alliance to work together and you can get so much speed up from this event in my opinion, by far one of the best events for free-to-play players. Um, so, how can you maximize the rewards for this awesome event? Um, first, do not solo attack the witch yourself. So, let's see. Um, with this event, uh, if you collect uh, 5 witch hats, you can summon a witch. And you have option to either solo attack the witch or you can uh, rally attack it. Always, always open a rally. Uh, do not solo the witch yourself. And most important, do not solo other people witch because like when other people summon their witch, you can like attack it as well. You can steal it, but like you got piss people off and you got get zero. Uh, the witch is meant for like the alliance to rally. So yeah, definitely do not solo it. Um, like Sand Owl and Alliance Mel uh, tell your Alliance member to not solo it. Um, you don't have to be like R Fire, you don't have to be R Force. Just a normal player. If you care enough, Sand Owl and Alliance Mel telling everybody, like what I did here, like I am not an R Fire or R Fire in my Alliance. But uh, I sent out a mail here telling people uh, open 10 minutes of witch rallies. Uh, the witch gave really good jobs, don't solo it. Uh, don't open a 5 minutes rally. Open a 10 minutes rally so everyone can join. Uh, join the rally with 25,000 troops or less. Uh, use action points to join rally if you don't have any more like the natural action points because it's really, really worth it. So like anybody can send out those kind of mail to like remind your alliance member. So definitely do that if you care enough. Um, like if everyone in your alliance getting the jobs. Everyone getting stronger, your alliance getting stronger, your kingdom getting stronger. So like all individual power add up to your kingdom power. Um, so let's see. Ooh, another here. So we got another rally here. So just, let me just join the rally, rally real quick here. So you can see um, we have people from my alliance joining with like 25, 20,000, 50k here. So that like more people can join and uh, we are opening a 10 minutes rally. So a very very good uh, example here, and like even for me, like I have option to just go here and solo it. So like it doesn't, it's not restricted to the the player who summons the witch. Uh, any anybody can attack it. So there is possibility that someone might try to steal it. So definitely uh, keep an eyes on your witch when you open a rally. Make sure nobody try to do something funny. Uh, so uh, for max research and building T5 players. Uh, you can have a much easier time with this event. Um, so you can uh, scout a whole bunch of like, I think if you zoom out, you can see a whole bunch of um, the graveyard that you can scout. And you gotta get some quests. And for max uh, research and max building T5 players, uh, you, can, you can have this event done pretty easily without spending any sort of like speed up or like action points. Uh, you can just like do whole bunch, just scout a whole bunch of um, graveyard, uh, haunted grave here, and make sure you keep the report. And you just have to look for the ones that like help like increase a uh, building. One of the quests that increase either building power or increase research power. So let me look at the list here. Two power building power increase, which I did already. Um, now the building power increase here I did already as well. Uh, technical power increase I did it already. Okay, this one I haven't done it, so let's go here. Increase building power by uh, fifteen thousand. Accept. 
go to here and I can claim the rewards right away because I already maxed out my building and I also maxed out my research. So any quests that have to do with building power increase or research power increase, I get them done automatically. So I can claim it here. Uh, easy, easy, like five hours speed up right there. And I can just keep doing the same thing over and over here. So let me go here. Let me look for another one that have an increased building power. Uh, here, building power increase. Uh, accept again and got another quest done here and now i can summon the witch because i have a uh i had five witch hat already so i could summon a witch right now and i could also rally it um so let me open a 10 minutes rally here for my alliance and let's just bring uh 25,000, 24,000 here and let's run so we got another rally from someone else here so i can definitely join as well uh, I'm going to use action point to join as many rally as I can because this is one of the best event for me. And I, I, I think you should do the same as well. Um, so let's join with like 24, 25,000 here. So definitely use some action point here. Join the rally. Uh, so that is um, for like max, uh, max down research and max down building T5 players. So uh, for non-max T5 players, uh, you want to time your troop training so you can finish some of the quests that has to do with like training powers. Uh, if you look at the list of uh, the quests here, there are some quests that require you to train like 1500 tier 2 higher siege unit here. Uh, increase troop power by um, 3000, increase troop power by 13000. So 13,000 is how many T4 units? So one T4 unit is 4 power. Uh, you need about 4,000. So probably not the best one. Uh, train 1,500 tier 2 higher siege unit here. Uh, 1,500 tier 2 or higher infantry unit here. So you can pick some of the quests. You can definitely pick some of the quests here. Uh, increase troop power by 7,500. Um, so... I think I have a whole bunch of sieges done right now because it's my time to reset my courier station. So I think I have about 1600 siege unit here. So 1600 siege T4 is not enough to get to 7500. And I don't want to use any speed up on this event. So I'm gonna pick an easier one. So I might go with uh, the 3000. So the 3000 troop power gave me what? One hour research speed up. And what about the other one? Uh, train 1500 tier 2 higher siege unit gave me what? Uh, action poise. Uh, so I think I need, I, I prefer action poise more than the research speed up because I maxed out research already. So I think I'm going to accept this uh, quest here. So train 1500 tier 2 higher siege units. So accept this quest here, I have a 30 minutes to do it, but because I have my troop training ready here, so I can just collect it and I can just get it done. So the quest is done and uh, my courier station is reset as well. Um, let me just do some buying here, just buy some uh, stuff here from the courier station so I don't forget. Uh, buy this one. Buy this one. Okay. So, like, there are a whole bunch of quests that to do with uh, training T2 uh, units. So you might want to, like, uh, you might want to training a whole bunch of, like, T2 units uh, for today. For the next few days, I would say. So I like, train 2,000 T2. So I can train 2,000 T2 uh, siege right here. And 10 hours from now, like, probably when I wake up, 10 hours from now, I can go look for some of the uh, new graveyards that gave the quest for like increase or train a 1500 tier 2 or higher siege units and I, and I can complete the quest again so like definitely uh, if you timing your quest if you timing your troop trainings you can definitely get at least like 8 to like 10 uh, troop training quests done without spending any kind of like speed up at all and you can get up to like what so you can get, um, you can finish up to like 15 quests per day. 
So as you can see right here, I have a nine quest left. So you can you can get like eight quests done from YouTube trainings without using any speed up. And the other one, uh, you might want to do some like barbarians, barbarian quests. So you want to pick the easy one like defeat twenty. I would say defeat twenty barbarian is one of the easiest one. Um, it doesn't get like a crazy good rewards, but it's it is like a teamwork event. So you get whole, you get some resources here, but it it gave you one of the the witch hatch, which uh is one of the items that require for you to summon the witch for your alliance to rally it. Uh, you can get that done. So do one of some of the uh, trying killing twenty barbarian or killing thirty barbarians. I would say. Uh, you do not want to spend you 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 won't waste a lot of the like, action points. I would say. And you can get those done quickly. Uh, or I would say just get a whole bunch of like quests lie up. Uh, get like maybe uh, six or seven, let's say as of right now. Um, I can get like I can get like six, seven like killing barbarian quests done out of the way. And I can just focus on just finish my troop training quest for the next uh, 12, 14 hours. Uh, because if I if I use like three or four marches. Killing barbarian outside, I can cut down on my action point as well, and I can just get a whole bunch of like barbarian quests done and get it out of the way, and just so that I can, so that I use the minimal amount of like action points there. Uh, more rally here, so let me keep joining more rally here. Four minutes, definitely join with this one. Find an action point here. I am using my action points. I'm gonna try to join as many rally as I can. Uh, eight minutes there, guy. Uh, more and more here. Joy as many, joy as many rally as you can. Like this is by far one of the best event. By far, so much speed up there. Um, I joy is that rally. Eight minutes. I should be able to get there. I should be able to get there. So I joy four four rallies there. So let's show some of the more like the rewards I get here. Oh my god, three hour training speed up here. A three hour universal speed up. Oh my god, the amount of speed up you get from this event is just amazing. Like golden key, resources. It, it, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. It's, it's one of the best events for, for your alliance to work together, to be honest. Like I love this event. Like I've never, I would never say any event is like, I, you never see me say any event is like one of the best, like the best event, awesome events. But this one is, this one is a very, very good event for a free to play and low spenders player. Uh, don't, don't hesitate to like spend action points uh, on this event. Like I would, I would go nut, I would go crazy on this event. Um, so that is for like uh, non max uh, T5 players. Like definitely pick some of the easy quests. Try to max it out because it is a, a teamwork event. I would say, uh, get 15 quests done a day and summon three witches for your alliance. It, it you summon three witches, like 100 players can benefit from it. The other player also summon three witches. Another like 100 other players can also benefit from it. Think it, think of it as a big picture. Don't think of it as a like oh I'm gonna spend uh, let's say here. Uh, Let's see one of the quests here for like killing barbarians. Don't think of it as like, hey, I'm gonna spend, um, I'm gonna spend like a thousand uh, action point or two two thousand action point or something to get a whole just a little bit of like resources here. It is not worth it. It is worth it because it's gonna help your entire alliance. It's not just you. Like as as the moment you can summon the witch, the moment you can rally the witch, like your alliance. Enjoy it, and everybody will get that like crazy amount of rewards there. And look at it. Look at the amount of people who get like um, dazzling starlight sculpture. Like a lot of people who need those starlight sculpture to level up, like legendary commanders. It, it's just, it's just, it's just crazy amount of like the rewards you can get, like for your lands. And like it's not just you. Like the other people, they also spend some of the action point as well to get the event done. And you can also enjoy their rally with their witch, so it 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 work, uh, it work both way, you know, like it, it, it's a teamwork here. So definitely, definitely try to like finish all of the fifteen quests and uh, summon three witch per day, and grow your like get to stronger with your land, get stronger with your kingdoms. 
And let me talk about uh, the other, the, the actual Halloween events. So the Halloween event itself is not that great. Um, because you had to spend, uh, you had to actually spend uh, gems to, uh, to buy some of the golden sculpture. Uh, so it's not one of the best events. Uh, you can do it, you can try to max down on some of the like free to play uh... So usually I just go with like buying, I just maxed out all my golden key, I just, I just grab that 20 golden keys I'm not going for the city skin because it costs um, It costs Halloween candies uh, I might get like one or two golden uh, sculptures there Depends on the Halloween candy I get, but for this event um, you had to, uh, you had to spend gems I think uh, if you spend gems, so if you spend gem to level up uh, the the Halloween, uh, the pumpkins, like you can get the candies, but uh, without spending gems, you cannot get the extra candies. So you're not gonna be able to um, to buy a lot of uh, golden sculpture unless you want to spend gems. But usually, but usually I don't spend gems at all. Um, I I just I just ignore ignore it. Uh, it's it better for me to say jumps or is a modern jam events or something so, like I don't recommend like free to play player or low spenders players to uh, use jumps to level up the pumpkins uh, it, 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 it's, it's not worth it because you spend it what a thousand jumps so you spend a thousand jumps you spend a thousand jump for 10 candies uh, a thousand jump for 10 candy and how many do you need? Um, yep, so a talent gem. So you need about a talent gem for one golden uh, sculpture here. Uh, one talent gem for one talent gem for one golden sculpture. Like one universal sculpture. I, I would say depend if you really, really need you really really need some like uh, universal golden sculpture to level up some commanders uh, you might you might go for it but usually a thousand a thousand gems per universal sculpture is pretty tight it's pretty tight um but again like depend on, on how much gems you have like if you if you are if you are like focusing on working on VIP level, um, you can you can skip this event. Uh, you can definitely skip this event. It it it's a it's not like a must spend. It it's not like a must spend gems event. Um, like a thousand gems for one that is like fifty percent off from the VIP shop, right? The VIP shop you can buy one for like what two thousand. Two thousand. Yep. 2,000 gems for one there and for this event you can get one for 1,000 gems like the medium spender or the big spender they are definitely got maxed out this event for sure um, but like for free to play or low spender players you might, uh, you might consider on what you want to focus spending your gems on uh, if you are currently working on like VIP boys if you are like currently working on like getting your VIPs to like either 14 or 12 um, I would I would skip the event, but like uh, if you are maybe just like if you got like VIP fourteen already and you kind of like working on some of the commanders, uh, and you have some extra gems by all means, by all means you can you can spend you can spend on you can spend like thirty thousand gems on this event, thirty thousand gems or thirty. Uh, Universal sculpture only. Uh, comparing to waiting for the modern gem event, uh, mod modern gem event you can spend fifty thousand gems, and you got about hmm. Modern gem event you spend get five and eight, five and eight, twenty five thousand, twenty five hmm. Maybe it's worth it. Maybe it's worth it. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Maybe it is worth it to get. Maybe it is worth it to get that uh, golden sculpture. Yeah. 
It might be better than modern jump events because modern jump event you spend at what? You spend twenty five thousand to get. You spend twenty five thousand to get a like thirteen. Get five and eight. Yep. Um. Or you just have to wait for a modern jump event, and I think you can go with like seven thousand, seven thousand jumps for modern jump events. I mean, like. Definitely, like it, it, it kind of like a borderline here. Like it, it's a very, very tough choice. Even for me, like I, do, I am not looking to, I'm not looking to get more universal sculpture here. I'm just trying to think for you guys, and it's kind of very, very difficult for me to decide right now. So like if, if you should get the, uh, you should spend gems on it or not. Uh, I would say it's okay for you to spend gems on this event. To get the universal sculpture if you have a free gems or like if you already get to a VIP 14 already you can definitely you can definitely use some of the gems to get some of the sculpture here but other than that um, I would just save my gems for like VIP points or I just save my gem for like World of Fortunes because I think that has the best return on uh, value uh, this event is okay I say um a thousand gems you can definitely spin uh, the world twice and you have more chance of getting more stuff so like if you if you don't have a lot of gems to spare uh, i would just i would just save my gems and just wait for like world of fortune for the commander i want unless you are vip 14 already and you have a lot of extra gems and by all means but uh for me personally I've never, I've never used my gem on this kind of event. It did not worth it for me. Um, so yeah, guys, I uh, just want to share you guys some tips on how you can like maximize hours on the reward for this event. Uh, definitely work this event out with your alliance. Uh, your whole alliance can get stronger with this event. Uh, a lot of like very, very nice rewards that you can get from uh, just rallying the witch together. And do not solo it. Uh, thanks for watching the videos, guys.